Hey everyone, welcome back again. Uh, thanks for watching all the videos lately. Today we're going to crack over some Japanese 151. Um, just got this one in the mail. This was one of the um, made to order pre orders from um, the Japanese Pokemon Center. So, yeah, I've been waiting a little while for it to come, but let's pop it open. Again, what I want is just the Blastoise. And just after the Blastoise. So these are the ones that have the little pull tab now. Let's do that. And as far as the the R res, I also want the Caterpie and I want the Poliwhirl. The Poliwhirl is probably the one that I want the most. Um, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. We'll see what we get. A little bit tough to open. Well, it's been a while since I've opened Japanese, and... Okay. Okay, I'm back. With scissors. Because I was so unsuccessful before. Oh, let's see. Got a Growlithe. Magikarp. Eevee. There yeah, we've got the reverse. This one is just a Pokeball reverse. But this is the reverse Kingler. That's really cool. I'm going to sleeve that one up in just a second. And we have the Ditto Holo. And then we have a Hitmonlee and a Kadabra. So the actual, um, the Pokeball reverses look a lot nicer in person. When I first, um, so all of them I've seen a lot on, like, you know, a lot of openings on YouTube and whatnot. But I didn't really rate them. But now, after seeing them in person, I actually think they look really cool. Polywell. Hey, there we go. We've got our first Art Rare. This one is Tangler. It's pretty cool. And then we have... Uh, Omastar, Firo, and then Grabber. So we'll see how many art rares we get, because I know in the English um, 151, I've been struggling to get art rares much. So we'll see how we go with the Japanese version. Ponyta, Ekans, there we go, we have our Pokeball Graveler, and then our Hollow Kabutops, and we've got a 
Polyrath, and an Ivysaur. Okay, next pack. It's been a while since I've been able to actually pick up a Japanese box. So I was happy that I was able to get these ones made to order. Did have to order them a little while ago. There's our second art rare. We have an Omanite with some Kabuto. That's pretty cool. And then we have a hollow Articuno. Gengar, oh sorry, Haunter, and a Golduck. So, so far the art rares, I've got two, which is good. Hopefully I can get the Caterpie, but my main one is definitely the, um, the Polywell. I like the art on this Meowth. I think it's really nice. It's only a common card, but it's nice. Got a Charmander. Poliwag. Got a Cloyster. Reverse Pokeball. They look really nice. Just the reverses are really nice. And the, the hollow on the Pokeball is really nice. I got a Gyarados. The Fable and Parasect. And so there is also one um, Master Ball reverse per box. We'll see what we get. It'd be cool if we could get a Pikachu, seeing as I collect Pikachus. But um, honestly, I don't really mind. Don't really mind too much. We got our. Slowpoke, Fossil, we've got Abra, there we go, we've got Seeking, another Pokeball Reverse, we've got Raichu, Holo, we've got the Energy Sticker, and we've got a War Turtle. So, people might not have actually realised this before the last few um, videos on my channel, or most of the recent videos on my channel, but primarily I was a Japanese collector. I've really only just got into, well, got more into collecting the English stuff lately, um, and that is because, yeah, we've got... Another Pokeball Reverse, Rhyhorn. There's our first EX, and it is a Blastoise EX. That's good, I'm happy with that, that's nice. And Butterfree. And Giovanni. Um, but yeah, I used to primarily collect Japanese. Um, reason I've been collecting English as of late is because it's very hard to get Japanese product for a decent price. I don't really want to be paying three, four times recommended retail price for packs that you don't even know if they've already been searched or if they're, you know, all resealed and there's nothing in the boxes or, you know, it's just not worth it for me. So I've been having to collect English as of late, but primarily I have a lot of Japanese Pokemon cards. There we go, we got a Pidgey. Again, this one is just the Pokeball Hollow. There we go, we've also got the Aerodactyl, Seedra, 
and Pidgeot. And so primarily my reason for collecting Japanese, um, I just really like the quality of the Japanese cards. I like the Japanese, um, just the way that everything looks on the card. The, you know, the language on the card, just the finish on there. Japanese cards are well known for just having better quality than English cards in general. Um, so that's primarily why I collect Japanese. Um, and for the longest time you were able to get like much older cards, much better condition for a much more affordable price. Yeah, you know, there is a Rapidash, Pokeball, Reverse, Beedrill, Holo, Golbat. So, that's my thought on Japanese. I have been collecting Pokemon cards um, for... I don't even, don't even remember anymore. At least I've been back into collecting for... At least maybe the last 12 13 years um, and since then it has been primarily Japanese with a sprinkling of English um, did a little bit of Korean at, at one point as well back when again Korean was like the Korean Pokemon cards were really cheap it was cool to just pick up a box to to open, see what you could pull. I think it was maybe about 11 or 12 dollars for a Korean box. Now they're much more expensive. We got the Butterfree, Pokeball Reverse, Matchamp, Pinsa. Hey, you got Snorlax. Other than just the, the normal Pokemon trading cards, I do have a lot of other Pokemon stuff as well that I've collected that I will probably show off in other videos. Um, I, I have shown off some other bits and pieces. Um, but I do have, yeah, a fair bit of Pokemon merch, different sorts of cards, plush toys, I've got a lot of different things. There we go. We've got another Pokeball Hollow. This one is our Star U. Vile Plume Hollow. Got a Scyther. Got the Arcanine too. Nice. So we are actually moving through them pretty quickly too. Not that many packs left. We probably have one more EX in here, at least, maybe more. And we've got one either full art or SAR or gold card, whatever it will be. There yeah, we've got uh, Ghastly. Caterpie. We have a reverse Pokeball Lapras. And that is our. That's our full art. Not bad. I will check the card number soon. I don't know what character that is. Again, it's more about the cards I like than the most expensive card. However, if there is cards that I like that are expensive, I'd prefer to pull them than, than purchase them because it can cost a lot of money to buy some of the cards. Oh, there we go. There's another Art rare, that one's really cool. Machoke, his 
the remove list. That's cool. I like that one. That's really nice. We've got our Dragonite. Got Graveler again. A balloon. Okay. So we're still looking for our Master Ball Reverse. And what other EXs we might have. Whatever, what other art rares? Might be lucky and get a double box that might have another SAR full art or better. There's our Master Ball Hollow. It is a Master Ball. If you can see there, Master Ball patterns. So we've got Nido Queen. So I'll sleeve that one up. And then we've got a Mr. Mime. Get a rhino and um, uh, but there's a lot of nice cards in the set, so I don't really mind. I do hope we can still get one of the ARs that I want either Caterpie or Polywhirl. If not, then I might just have to pick them up separate. Got another fossil, Dojuo, Bell Sprout. We have Omanite, Pokeball Reverse, well, there we go, we have the Kangaskhan EX, that's pretty cool, we have Onyx, and then we have a Tauros, the Full Art Blastoise, and the Full Art, um, well, I think there was one more full art I got. And I forget. It'll come back to me. Um, but I picked up a full, a few full arts um, from Japan. Just purchased them separately. Because um, they weren't too expensive. And it's... Especially when you can only get one full art per box. There's another nice card. Yeah, especially when you only get one full art per box, it is um, pretty good to just pick them up for fairly cheap. I think maybe like like twelve dollars Australian or something for the full art and the EX version of the same Pokemon with free shipping. So not not too bad. I think the most expensive was probably the Blastoise. Um, the Blastoise was probably like seventeen or eighteen dollars, but the rest were pretty unaffordable. Uh, pretty affordable. Sorry. There's a Pikachu. Be cool if we can get the reverse Pikachu. We got the reverse sticker sheet. Oh, there we go. We got an EX. We got Nine Tails EX. That's pretty cool. I like Nine Tails. Cool Pokemon. And now we've got Charmeleon. I feel like Nine Tails was probably the first ever Holo Pokemon card that I got back in the day in a um, theme deck. One of the, like, um, I forget what it was, like the grass and fire theme deck. Uh, as a kid. So. Probably one of the reasons why I like Nine Tails as a Pokemon. Plus, I guess, just like the background behind the whole Nine Tail Fox thing. Here we go, we've got a Kabutops. That's cool. And we have Moltres, some glasses, and a muck. It's 
pretty good to get some reverse um, reverse rares as well. We've got two more packs to go though. Only two more packs. Can we be surprised? Can we get another AR or like something that just like we didn't realize was there? An EX, that's a deep loop. That's that chick again. Well, there we go. We have a Mew EX. That's pretty cool. I do have, um, if you've seen the previous video, I do have the gold card of the Mew that I pulled recently. Um, and obviously I have the promos that came in the box. Okay, last pack. Let's see what we get. Did a ran. Got Amber. Or oh, Amber. We have Shoulder. We have a reverse Slowbro. That's pretty cool. I like that one. We have a Weezing. We have the Street. And then we have a Persian. Okay, let's have a bit of a quick recap. So, we have AR um, Tangler. We have an AR uh, Omanite. We have Blastoise EX. We have Full Art. We have AR Matchoke. We have EX Kangaskhan. We have EX uh, Nine Tails, an EX Mew. Then we have a whole heap of Pokeball reverses. Which are all pretty nice. Some of them are cooler than the others. That's our Master Ball reverse there. And then we have our hollows. And I feel like we did pretty well to not um, not really double up. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Um, so that's it, guys. Thanks again very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you guys think is your favorite card that I pulled. Um, and how have you guys been going with the luck with 151? What have you guys pulled? Um, but have a great day and thanks very much for watching. Thanks. Bye.